Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful to God that I'm back to this pulpit after 10 years. <laughs> Thanks to God for He is good. God is good. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for this morning that you are here not only to give a message, but you are here to touch lives, Father. Do the work that you want to do today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning I am so privileged to be invited as a special speaker. I want to ask all the MYFAF members to come. Stand up. Twenty-eight to forty-eight. Twenty-eight to forty-nine. I want to wish the uh, the uh, TAC, the, the Tamil Annual Conference of the Methodist Church of Malaysia, on this auspicious day, we wish you happy MYAF Sunday. Praise God. Thank you, Pastor, for, for sharing this message with me. And it's a privilege to work together as brothers. Amen. Praise <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And this is called serving together. Caring and sharing servant. Caring and sharing servant. I want to tell you one story before I start the message today. So I went into theological studies in STM. STM. So with a lot of expectation, I took my first trip to Kerala. And so I was so privileged to travel with this bishop. So on the time loan the bishop for a final same I'm so excited, I'm going to do ministry. But I am telling you what happened so that you know what is the meaning of serving God. We all theological students, we have our Bibles, all the lectionary, Greek, Hebrew, everything is perfect. Ready to preach the word of God. But my first ministry, I want to tell you what it is. So my dear great bishop, he sat down at the dining table. And he told me to serve him. I am so... Theologian and Bible school student, and I am so excited to preach the word of God. And this bishop great, is a great friend of mine, and he asked me to serve him. So I have to stand in the right way. I have to stand, I have to have a Malaysian and the all India people, I have to stand up, I have to carry the plate in a nice way and I have to start serving the bishop. I began to serve rice and curry and kutan and all that, that is my first ministry. That is why I get a lot of pleasure working with my brothers in the ministry. Amen. 
சந்தோஷமாக அது ஒரு கிடைத்த வாய்ப்பாக நான் கருதுகிறேன் இப்படியாக சகோதரத்துவத்திலே ஊழியம் செய்வேன் ministering to pastor and pastor is ministering to me this is a model for each one of you today amen so oru 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 nam moolil seyumbol idu oru adiyadamaga alladhu oru oru udharanamaga kaanapadukirathu so i'm going to talk to you for four major uh, topics of this morning to help you serve god better so in the naalile in the kaalayile naange adipadiyana kalaipile ஒரு <laughs> serving god as a result of loving god amen serving god patina kathrikku ooliyam seivadhu devane nesipuvargal devanukku ooliyam seivavargalaga kaanapadukkirargal so the foundation of serving god is to love our god so andavarkku ooliyam seivadhu endru adrudi adithalum paarkumalude andavarai ullaadi nesipadhaga kaanapadukkirathu and this sunday has been dedicated to the myaf so indha nesigalume visheshamaga நிலமுடியும் <laughs> John 21 11 I'm going to read a lot of scriptures you got to be ready with your bible or your you know ipad and just go to the verses and we will continue to flow without any disturbance amen neriya vasanangalai kurithu nam yaani kerikirum so ningal aayathamaga irungal virivaga nam kattukollum he said to him a second time simon son of jonah do you love me he said to him yes lord you know that i love you He said to him tend my sheep. Yohan 21:16 the second time he came to him Yoda in Kumarnagi COD Simone ni ennadil anba irukkiraya endra adarthi avan aam andavare umai nesikiren endrai nee arivu endran avar en aadugalai neepaiyaga endra This message is coming to this age group because you are the core of the uh, TAC conference of Malaysia இமேல் சோ இந்த வார்த்தையானது அல்லது இந்த செய்தியானது குறிப்பாக இளமுதியர்காக விசேஷமாக காணப்படுகிறது காரணம் நாம் எல்லாம் விசேஷித்தவர்கள் மாநாட்டில் சார்பாக பார்க்கும் பொழுது 28 to 48 is the prime age in every nation சோ 28 ல இருந்து 48 49 வரைக்கும் பார்க்கும் பொழுது அது முக்கியமான ஒரு வயதாக இளமுதியர்கள் ஒரு உலகத்தை அசைக்கிறவர்கள் கூட சொல்லலாம் அதினா வயது ஏறேற நம்ம பொறுப்புகள் அதிகரிக்கிறது சோ அத பாத்துக்கிறார் அப்படியே சொல்லுகிறார் and that is why all the millionaires and billionaires today they are in this age group சோ அந்த வயதுல பார்க்கும் பொழுது மில்லியனர்ஸ் மில்லியனர்ஸ் சோ பணக்காரர்கள் சோ ஒரு லட்சியத்தோடு முன்னேறுகிறதை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் right in this time and age if you are ready god is going to bless you amen சோ இந்த வயதுல குறிப்பாக நீங்கள் ஆயத்தமாக இருந்தால் கத்திரக்காக and so serving god is the result of loving god amen kattarikku oliyam seivathu kattarai nesippadhu kurikkiradhaaga kaanapadukirathu today i'm going to give you a lot of paradoxes a lot of comparisons so that you understand so idhile neriya vithyasangalaiyum udharanangalai naan eduthu kaatta aasaipadugiren see many of us come to church and we serve the church as if it is a job description so neriya per namba nenikrom idhu oru kadamiyaga சபைக்கு வருகிறோம் என்று இந்த வசனத்தின் அடிப்படையில் கூட நாம் பார்க்கலாம் தமிழ்ல நல்லா சொல்லிருக்கா கடமை just a கடமை only i just do my work and i'm done with it பதிலாக வேலை இல்ல கடமைனு மட்டும் நான் செஞ்சி என்னோட வேலை நான் முடிஞ்சி கடமைக்காக செய்றோம் அப்படினு நம்ம because of கடமை we are doing it without the love of god because it's just a கடமை அப்ப கடமைனு நம்ம நினைச்சோமா என்ன அதுல காணப்படாதுனா ஆண்டவருக்கு அன்போடு ஊழி செய்ய முடியாது Now I want to tell you if you love God and you are sweeping the floor or mopping the floor the attitude will be different. Amen. So parigala andavare nesithu 
ஆண்டிற்காக ஊழியர் செய்வது குறிப்பாக தலையை கூட்டுவது கூட அது ஒரு வித்தியாசமாக ஆண்டு ஆசீர்வதிப்பதாக doing everything in the church padinaindu varukku munbaga oru gramapurathile so padina ange oolim seyumbodhu illa oolikalum sabile naan seidhu kattu kondu vandhe and so on saturday saturday i'm so busy saturday evening i'll start to mop the because those time we didn't even have a vacuum cleaner so i have to use the welcome mat and i have got to sweep that carpet oru therikku nanga sanikaramilla avarku vekkiyum illa adanal so kootu maarla so ange சுத்தமா <laughs> 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 You see if you love God and you do something little like washing the kakus and there to holy seven padina so namm samilo seyraanga ellame ina toilet sutha pandradho or holy seven you are going to ensure that the toilet bowl is very clean so now make sure padina yena aduthu vandu vandu fine padra appo namm sabai koru enna nenipanga appo na adu akriyode sutham pannikira kadamile nam kanam and so i want to encourage you today whatever big role small role little role no role just give your best because you love your god so the seriya karyamo periya karyamo andarukke endru neengal serappaga seiyumbodhu ungal uchchagapadudhu see one more thing i want to tell you about serving god without loving god is that you are always watching who is looking at me so padina inga devane nesikama nam oli seiyuma avu yarcha paakranga paakumbodhu dhaan nam edhavum seiyum i know some people when the pastor come that time do they all jumping and doing all these things but when the pass is out they are just sitting down there quietly and praying you know nadakkada apdi illa inda sabal illa parichitha van maatha illa sabala pass re pathina pass paakumbodhu tak tak na vande ready a irupanga pass illa na konjam shallava apdi relax a seiyama apdi and so such people they want the recognition they want the pakka datto yb and all the stars so sala per vande and angikaram kadaikino அடித்தளமாக <laughs> in spirit and truth for the father is seeking such to worship him yohanan 4:23 ile unmayai koluthukollugiravargal pidavai aaviyodum unmayodum koluthukollugal kaalam varum adu ippolude vandirukirathu thammai koluthukollugiravargal ipdi pettavargala irukkumadi pidavaanavar nirumbugiraar see a lot of people are confusing worship with singing so anegal vande oru confusion pathina avukku puriyamal பாடுறதோ ஆராதிக்கிறதோ குறித்து அவர் இன்னும் தெளிவான ஒரு நிலையில இல்லை சவுண்ட் யூ வி திங்க் தட் வொர்ஷிப் இஸ் ஆல் அபௌட் ஹோல்டிங் தி மைக் அண்ட் சிங்கிங் லைக் வென்ஜி டுடே சோ எத்தனை பேர் நினைக்கிறீங்க வொர்ஷிப் இல்ல ஆராதிப்பு இருந்தா இங்கே மகள் பத்தின சகோதரி இவஞ்சலின் பாடுறாங்க எடுத்து மைக் சோ அப்படி நீங்க நினைக்கிறீங்க வொர்ஷிப் இஸ் நாட் ஜஸ்ட் சிங்கிங் பட் இட்ஸ் யுவர் லைஃப் ஹalleluya சோ ஆராதிப்பு என்பது வெறும் பாடுவது மாத்திரமல்ல எனக்கு சிறந்த குரல் இருக்கு பாடுவது அல்ல ஆண்டவரை மகிமைப்படுத்துவது ஆண்டவர் அது வந்து நம்மளுடைய ஜீவன் அதுல காணப்படுகிறது சோ தி பைபிள் சேஸ் ஜீசஸ் சேட் தி ட்ரூ வொர்ஷிப்பர்ஸ் வுட் வொர்ஷிப் தி ஃாதர் இன் ஸ்பிரிட் அண்ட் இன் ட்ரூ ஹalleluya ஏமேன் இயேசு ஆண்டவர் சொல்கிறார் ஆவியோடு உண்மையோடு நாம் தொழுது கொள்ள வேண்டும் அவர்கள் உண்மையாக ஆராதிப்பவர்கள் and so that is why your worship is your lifestyle and you love god and you serve him as a worship as unto the lord so that is why padina agave adinal da adu andavar kuriyadaga kanapadigirathu and so the next time when you go and clean your kakkus you can see hallelujah to the magi kapala kalam hallelujah yesu vakkala fresh panni vetringa can we do that so before after and after the bakkala okay worship 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 
you are doing the cooking worship, you know, singing worship, you are driving the van, you are doing all kinds of worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, serving with all of your heart. Because some people worship with little bit of the heart. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse number 12 says, And now Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Amen. 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 You see, Pastor prayed for the Jewish people, the Israelites, just now. This was the command of God to the Jewish nation. To love the Lord and to serve Him. What does it mean to serve the Lord with all your heart? Okay, if I ask you the question. Now, how many, okay, those of you who did the cleaning yesterday, alright, thank you for cleaning. And thank you for all that you have done until, until this morning. The question is this. How many percentage of your heart was involved in it? You don't have to answer. For this morning's message, I had to prepare four sermons. Because I was preparing the, you know, a sermon with, a, with another theme, another title, I had to do it four times before I came up with this morning's message. This talks about our attitude in our life. Now, if you look back at your own life, see, we all measure our life according to how much of paisa we have in the bank. Am I right? See, it all talks about our attitude in our life. The way you hold your back can you say something about you. Some children, they come back home, they throw their bag, they throw their shoe, the, so the, the socks will be flying and then they go right into the kitchen and eat something. For a four-year-old, five-year-old, it's okay. But do you know people who are married, they do the same thing. <laughs> it talks about our attitude. How serious you are in your life. See, my wife always asked me to help her in her, in her cooking, you know. So, she always asked me to tumbo this uh, uh, moon day and uh, So, I take the instruction, you know. My means really. Good it, man. So the attitude you have in your life determines how successful you are going to be in your life. So our drummer is here this morning, our keyboardist is here this morning, our guitarist is here this morning. Now the way you sit determines your attitude. 
So it determines your attitude. Amen. So don't blame the government. I don't have Purun Tukar. I got no Bantuan. I am not getting my all the Bantuan or Papayana Ringgit. No, 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 no. It talks about our attitude in life. Amen. Number four, loving God means loving others and serving others. I'm going to read to you from Mark chapter 12, verses 30 and 31. Amen. If you have the Bible, you can go there. Alright. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second one is like this. You shall love your neighbors as you love yourself. And there is no commandment greater than this. So the Bible, God is so specific, is to love God and to love other people. Now, who is that Piran? Can you tell me? Who is your Piran? Okay, I want to hear some voices. Who is your neighbors? Who is your neighbor? See, this is the problem with our churches Christian serving another Christian. Not talking about this church, but church global is like that. Churches are serving Christians. Nobody is serving other people. Nobody is talking to our non Christian friends. Nobody talks to the society and the nation. How many of you want to love your neighbors? Can I see your hands? I tell you why. I tell you why. Don't contain your life within Christians and church. Because our life is 90% outside. Am I right? Our life is 90% outside in the world. You are in a, in a certain party outside the church. So, in the church, 90% we are protecting with others. Others in business, those who are doing business, who are your customers? Not Christians. Am I right? Others. So, the more you love the other people, the attitude, God is going to give the others to you. Uh, do you understand what I am saying? Amen. So don't only love Christians. Alright. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Number 5. Loving God is to obey His commandments. Yes, Lord. This is a very important point that I want to talk to you. Don't sleep off. All right. Loving God is to obey His commands. Deuteronomy 28 and verse number 15 says, But it shall come to pass if you do not obey the words of the Lord your God to observe carefully all His commandments and his statutes which I command you today, 
that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. உபாகமம் 28:15 இன்று நான் உனக்கு விதிக்கிற ஒரு தேவனாய் கர்த்தருடைய எல்லா கற்பனைகளின் படியும் கட்டளைகளின் படியும் நடக்க கவனமாக இருக்கிறதற்கு அவர் சட்டத்திற்கு செவி கொடாதே போவாயாகி இப்பொழுது சொல்லப்படும் சாபங்கள் எல்லாம் உண்மையில் வந்து உனக்கு பலிக்கும் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் into your life so bagira idu mukkiyana vasanamaga kaanumbade kaaranam aandavarkku aandavudi kattalai keelpadiyaga bodhu and the saavu nammil varukku naamale idam kodukirom see ask yourself this question how many of us love our god so ungale sondamaga neengal kettu paargal illa sindhithu paargal ethra per nam aandavudi ummayaga nesikkirom that means to follow the commandments of god அப்படியாக <laughs> 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 லென் சீசன் வரும் அதுல கொஞ்சம் நான் செஞ்சுக்கிறேன் கிறிஸ்துமஸ் சீசன்ல கொஞ்சம் செஞ்சுக்கிறேன் அப்படி நம்ம நினைக்கலாம் There is something that God has put into my heart. I want to share with you today. என் உள்ளத்துல வைத்த காரியத்தை உங்களோடு பகிர்ந்து சொல்லுகிறேன் Because God has blessed you so much. So in the under the name, Nesi Padinale, Asuvari Kirdinale. And that is why this message is coming to you. நிறையும் <laughs> <laughs> but many have not anegar kodukavillai so please do not play with god so the kadana varathil paathirukenga malaikai paathirukanga kodunga kodunga adina saapa aandavarode naam veliyaada kudadu aandavar kaaraiyile naam unmaiyaaga irukka vendum brothers and sisters please be careful because i believe that some locust is coming to steal your crops adina gavanamaga irungal sila vettikkaligal nammudaiya காரியங்களை அல்லது ஆசீர்வாதத்தை பற்றி கொள்ள அது வந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது we are entering into the panchakalam in malaysia so that is a very mean panchakalam vandu kondirukkirathu you cannot buy chicken you cannot buy rice you cannot buy so many commodities in the market and it's only good or very easy that it's coming here so all the very easy kondirukkirathu so it is not going to go away in a few days we can face it and that is why this book message is not a good message to a lot of people so the message of giving மலாக்காயிருக்கு <laughs> பதினொன்றை நான் வாசிக்கின்றேன் என் ஆலயத்தில் ஆகாரம் உண்டாயிருக்கும்படி தசம பாகங்களை எல்லாம் பண்டைய சாலையிலே கொண்டு வாருங்கள் அப்பொழுது நான் வானத்தின் பலகணிகளை திறந்து இடம் கொள்ளாமல் போதும் மட்டும் உங்கள் மேல் ஆசீர்வாதத்தை வரிசிக்க மாட்டேனோ என்று அதனால் என்னை சோதித்து பாருங்கள் என்று சேனைகளின் many of the people in this church has been so been blessed by god himself alpariyaga ena mudiya so inda 28 vayil nadu 49 vayil varaikum naam araindu paarkumbodhu anegarai aandavar anega vidathile aashirvadithirukkar this message is coming so that god will continue to bless you so inda vasanam yen varugirendra aandavar ungale aashirvadikkumadiyaga pesugirar because when we give in tithes and in offering uh, god has made a promise to each one of us andavarukke endru dasama paagalin kaanikeyilai naan munniyaga kodukumbodhu andavar aashirvadippen endru vaakku patram seidirukkar when we do that god is going to destroy the devil so adai seiyavarudhu satrudeya kaarigalai moriyadikkira devanaga kaanapadigirar 
Amen. Can we lift our hands and close our eyes? I'm going to pray for you today. Father, I pray for your children this morning. We pray, let not the devourer devour, devour them in Jesus' name. We release the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive the blessing into your heart. Okay, just close your eyes. What are you praying for in this season? Can you ask and receive it from God right now? So, Kangali Modi, Adat, Jebitla, Opugadagal, in the Kalagatle, in the Adat, the Kakering, the Petrupolu, in the Iswasthani, Jebitla, and the Is it a mapala? Is it a house? Is it a car? Is it a, is it a work? Is it a, is it a university place? Or what is it? Just take it from God, receive it from God. Say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for receiving it. Amen. See in the prayers by the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Can you clap your hands and say thank you, Lord, for answering all my prayers? Absolutely. Answer your prayer, which will be great. Every one of you. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus, every one of you, receive the blessings of God in your life. Amen. Number six, serving God because you love the house of God. Amen. I want to explain to you about 1 Chronicles 29 and verse number 3. This talks about King David. Because he says here, Moreover, because I have set my affection on the house of my God, I have given to the house of my God, over and above all that I have prepared for the house of God, my own special treasure of gold and silver. <laughs> How many of you can honestly say that I love the house of God? Yes. Tell me. Where is the house of God located? Give me the address. Huh? Do you love the Cheng Alayam? See, one time I went to Kerala and I went to a Karabam church. It's a, it's a very old church and then people are coming and I see the windows are broken and nobody is bothered about the house of God. If you love the house of God, how much you love your own house? Can you look like that? House of God. Who cares about the house of God? So, yeah, they are paying the rental. I am paying my tithe. It is over. But King David says, I am giving it from my own treasure to the house of the Lord. So I challenged the people in that church. I said, You do to the house of God, and God will do to your own house. Amen. How can you serve the church, my dear friends? Oh, so you put in Look around you. Please look around you. So look around you. you. Look at the floor. Look at the pillow. Look at the floor. Is there something that you can do for this church? 
I'm a bit feeling very hot, Pastor. I think I need another icon. Four hours, four. Huh? Four hours, four. Four, okay, four hours, okay, no problem. So, I'm sitting my hair, I'm going four hours, four hours. So, I'm going to do another repaint. If this is your house, what will you do? Ladies, you know what to do. Curtain must be changed. Yes. What happened to the curtain? So, I'm going to do another car. No, I am not talking about the chairman, you know. I am talking about you do it on your own accord. Don't ask the church committee. Chairman is doing the job. LCC is doing the job. Amen. For example, I see the chair is uh, having some dust. I will take my cloth and I am going to wipe it, you know. Oh, this is my house. God's house is my house. The pulpit is dusty. You know, do you know that the pulpit is dusty? Can you just take your handkerchief and wipe it? This is a password for some of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, if you have a password, you can use the password. So, if you have a password, you can use the password. So, if you have a password, if God has spoken to you, if you do it, God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. I hope many people are going to be blessed. Amen. Now I am going to talk to you about the qualities of serving God. I am going to read to you the hard character to serve God. So, I am going to the just one verse, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 24. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach and be patient. So, I'm talking about, we are talking about character. You go to school, you go to college, you go to university, you go to your workplace, they say have a good character. But character governs our action. Only the external. But I want to tell you something that's deeper than character is your heart character. When you have the right heart, you can serve God accurately and God is going to be pleased with you. Amen. Heart character. Look at Pastor is sitting there. Such a servant of God is sitting there. Heart character. Heart character. So a man of God. He carries so much of God. He doesn't have to say anything. But he is not God in his life. That is why we need the heart character, not external character. So, How many of you are saying, Pastor, I want a heart character? God will help you. God will have to remove some kind of. Uh, if you take the, you know, look at this uh, Facebook all, huh? they will have a suction to remove all the fats inside, inside your, inside, uh, got baggage inside, they will suck it out, you know. God, you pray and God is going to help you, amen. Number two, serve as a servant with a servant heart. Amen. So, you know, 
ஆண்டவருக்கு ஓய்வு செய்வதை பார்க்கும் பொழுது ஒரு சேவை செய்கிற உள்ளத்தோடு சேவகனாக நாம் காணப்படுவோம் 1 Corinthians style in verse number 19 and this is what apostle Paul apostle Paul is the greatest in the bible and this is what he says for though i am free from all man i have made myself a servant to all that i might win the most amen so wonder kondu 9 19 le ediyaga vaathirum naan oruvarkum adimai pettavana adimai padadavana irundum naan adhiga janangalai aadai padichikollumbodhu ennai thaan ellavarkum adimai aagidhen okay listen to this word the word that is used in the word servant in this portion of the scripture is the greek word that's called doulos which means slave so mona vaasiyage greek moliyile paarkumbodhu doulos endru solugira vaathai sevai kurithu adu sevagan ore adimai kurithu paarkapadugirathu so if you want to serve god as a servant not everybody will pray this prayer so but pray, pray that you have a servant heart andarukku endru na odiyam seiyana nadikkumbodhu appo ore and iraviyum That means you are saying, God, you are. I am a slave to you. I am serving you. So, I am telling you, I am telling you, when you do all this, don't see this pasta is coming from Kerala and giving me some point. No, if you are going to take it in, it's going to change your life. So, for the Kerala, the under Nala, you all put it in. We are going to take it in. Under the body, you see. I know some of you are picking up some points, but really, if you want a breakthrough in your life, take the word of God, and you're going to see a change in your life. So, number one, clearly, matrangal, karangal, here is the way to build up. Under facing your karangal, then I'm not just going to be particular. I'm going to be saying because God has been so merciful to us. We are supposed to be in Naragam today. So, after here, the whole world is going to be under the karangal. Now, Naragam today, here is the way to build up. But we are here. நாம இங்கே நிறுத்தி இருக்கிறோம் நோ நீ கண்டமேஷன் சோ எதுவோ நாம பண்ணி பண்ண அவசியம் பட் we are living in a different way நம்ம விசாச முறையிலே காணப்படுகிறோம் பட் ஹெல்ப் us god say god help me to be a servant to you சோ ஆண்டவர் நம்ம உதவி செய்வாராக அவர் உதவி செய்வாராக நாம வழிநடத்துகிறார் and final points for this special day சோ இன்னைக்கு விசேஷமான நாளை கடைசியாக நான் சொல்ல விரும்புகிறது some practical problems in serving சோ practical சோ நடைமுறையிலே இருக்கிற காரியங்கள் problems alladhu savalgal oriyathile alladhu oriyam seyapolude kanapadugirathu so this is a practical tips for some of you maybe you are in the church committee lcc and maybe you are in other sub groups but this is for you so ninga nariya kaarikala oriyathile edupattirukla so idella ungalukaga naan solla number one is that unable to work as a team so mudhalavathu kaariyam ore kuluvaga naan vela seivathu adhai kadinamaga kanapadalam due to the pressure of time in the book of acts chapter 2 was 44 they all got together the belief in the same thing and they begin to share everything as being common so apostle 244 nan vaasikindre apostle 244 le vishwasigal ellarum orumikirundu sagalathiyum poduvai vaithu anubavithargal so avargal ella ondraga irundu oriyum seidargal endru see that is why a lot of people cannot work as a team so even mitho paakumbodhu so and oru mana aagi illa adanal neriya per enna நம்மால செய்ய முடியல ஒரு குழுவாக இயங்கிறது ரொம்ப கடினமாக very hard to work as a team அது கஷ்டமாக இருக்குது when i was in stm i was the student body president so iriyar kallurile naan manavargal mathile and thalamai porupile naan irukkum bodhu so very hard to get the cooperation of everybody so romba kadinamana sonnalaigal ellavarum ondru serpadhu or romba kashtamaga kanapadum and i tell you why yen endru paatha we have maybe we are a manager in the companies maybe we are a supervisor maybe we are bosses in some other places karana nammudeya thanipatta kaaryangale nam uyirnda nilayile kaanapadum bodhu ondra oru irukku kashtamaga kaanapadum so when we are coming to the church you say i am the boss of my company 500 people is working under me you listen to me appa namba sabhayile adhe attitude la irukka mudiyadhu endru solla vendiya kaaranam na company la oru manager oru boss pole irukku appa engila 500 per vela seiranga na solradhu dhaan kekkano appadine sabhayile varumbodhu that is why a lot of churches are destroyed today in the nation mithavaga nammudeya desile paathra anike sabhayil vilundirudhai nam paarkkindo please work as a team daivu seidhu oru kuluvaga yendungal if you are a boss you will be a greater boss 
The more you humble yourself in the house of God, God is going to take you to the next level. Amen. Another common problem in, in, uh, in serving is that you are unable to submit to the authority. So, and so in the book of Numbers chapter 12 and verse number 1, there was the story that uh, the brother and the sister of Moses, they were complaining. Why only God is listening to Moses? And that is why they begin to complain to God. Why are you only speaking to Moses? You know what happened? Do you want to know what happened? They were stricken with leprosy. Don't play with the servants of God, my friends. I am not here to support pastor. It's a principle in your life. Maybe, maybe he is not perfect. Maybe he is not wearing a tie. Maybe he has got a collar. I got no collar. Never mind. I am not complaining. Please submit to your authority. Even the other day, somebody was from here in the, in the group of pastors. Pastors group are complaining about that preacher not good. Oh, this prophet is not good. I say, no, don't complain. It's okay. And that is why, my friends, stop talking about pastors. Yes, again. Yes, again. And finally, the message for you on this wonderful day. What do you mean? Serving God as an antidote to life's problem. So serving God as an antidote. I can hear the voice of some of the uncles and aunties here today. You say, what can I do? I am already retired. I cannot do anything. I cannot be like my young bro in all this youth and all this. I go. I cannot know anything. What can I do? I want to give you a good news today. 1 Chronicles 13 and verse number 14. I want to read it to you. The ark of God remained in the family of Obed Edom in his house for three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Obed Edom and all that he had. Alright, this is the final and the, one of the most important points in your There was the time in the history of the nation of Israel. They were going to different nations. They don't know where to store the Ark of the Covenant of God. So in the Varlatle Park, Israel, and, and the Philistines were so scared because, because people died because of the Ark of the Covenant. And so they pushed the Ark of the Covenant and it entered into the house of the name of the persons called Obed Edom. The Bible records something for you today. The ark of God was in the house of the family of Obed Edom for three months. And you know what happened? And the Lord blessed the house of God. And over the we to you, our love, 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 our 
uncles and aunties and all the folks in this church so ungal ellarkum uncle aunty ya vaidalukku irukkala so ungalku oru savala ketren you have that altar of god in your family avanga veetile so jaba palipidam kaanapadugirathu irukkudhinga i went to some parts in pune and all this catholic families so sila edangala pune la paarthu india வழிபாடுகள் going together as a family is it all right our character is very good and we have a discipline and we have to come to the front i want to give illustration okay so the okay now we are standing up children let's pray let's come in the day to the lord lord we come in this day unto you and help us father so over nala kalaiya appa ki vande namba jibike pillaigale kondittu varan so you don't have a uh, you don't have a cross you don't have a selaya nothing but you have a bible you know just the lord will come before you apdi so altar na thavara porichikarige ore palipadatha kattiyo alave nam sele vechiyo alave oru cross vechina nam seiyanum illa ana nam kudumbathe kooti onna okkarthu avanthu jeppikum bodhu aashirwadam that is why the bible records very clearly three months god bless the house of obed adanal da vedam therivaga inge appathla irukku pathina moonru maadam ange petti irukkum bodhu கர்த்தர் அவங்க வீட்டியும் அவனுக்கு உண்டான எல்லாவற்றையும் ஆசீர்வதித்தார். Amen and so I have completed the message I'm going to sing a song with my wife. I want to ask you to be attentive even as we sing the song as we conclude and I pray that you're going to receive a blessing from heaven. Amen. Amen. தேவனை நேசிக்கிறவர்கள் தேவனுக்கு ஊழியம் செய்வர்கள் என்று பார்க்கும் பொழுது சோ நிச்சயமாக இன்னைக்கு பேசின பாதகர் பேசின अनेक காரியங்கள் நம்முடைய சிங்கில இருக்கும். தேவனுக்கு முழு உதவியை கொடுப்போம். தேவனுக்கு உண்டானதை கொடுப்போம். ஜபம்ாடப்படவேண்டும் <laughs> Ah, I'm not much younger.